Good evening. My name is Lauren Pender. Before I begin my main topic, I have two points from the last council meeting that I want to just talk about. During the last session, one of the residents from the audience addressed the audience. I was under the impression that during the public forum, that was meant for people to address city council, not to address other audience members. So that was a bit confusing for all of us sitting in the audience, but that was allowed to happen. Secondly, I would also like to publicly thank Mr. Butler for raising a motion based on resident input. After multiple residents spoke of uncertainty and fear surrounding the Grail annexation, Mr. Butler motioned to simply postpone the annexation. Postponement would have provided the council time to answer residents' questions thoroughly and to calm their fears. Though no one seconded the motion, Mr. Butler's attempt was very much appreciated by the people. And now to my main topic. Weather in Ohio is getting hotter and we are experiencing more rain and more extreme weather events. These weather events greatly increase the likelihood of runoff and flooding. Hamilton County has had nine 100 year storms in the last 10 years alone. This is a startling statistic and should be troubling for everyone, especially those who live near water. Therefore, Loveland should be looking very closely at what and how much is developed. Replacing permeable surfaces like grass, gravel, and earth with impervious, impervious surfaces, concrete, and asphalt are a major cause of flooding in urban areas. Water runoff and flooding are dangerous and expensive. According to the United States Geological Survey, quote, flooding is less significant in more natural conditions because some of the runoff during a storm is absorbed into the ground, thus lessening the amount of runoff into a stream. As watersheds are urbanized, much of the vegetation is replaced by impervious surfaces. In a developed watershed, much more water rises into a stream much more quickly, resulting in an increased likelihood of more frequent flooding. The Little Miami River and Ultra Banyan Creek could be at risk. Studying runoff and flooding of the Linda J. Cox parking area may be helpful here before Loveland agrees to lay down more concrete or asphalt. The number and severity of storm events will continue to increase. Can we afford more flooding in Loveland? But flooding is just one problem with the runoff. The runoff from paved surfaces bring contaminants like oil, leaking brake fluid, antifreeze, and trash, which are deposited directly into the river. Impervious car park surfaces represent a major source of urban water pollution. Increased traffic downtown that would use a parking garage bring other risks air pollution from exhaust, noise pollution from engine sounds, and light pollution. Parking garages are magnets for crime and other undesirable activities, and therefore must be extremely low, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This light pollution will destroy the tranquil nighttime setting we currently enjoy. Expanses of concrete or asphalt also create what is called a microclimate, where urban areas with paved surfaces are hotter than the surrounding areas by as much as seven degrees. These are complicated environmental issues, but perhaps as a community, we can all learn more about the current and future environmental impacts of today's decisions. What will these decisions look like in 2040 when the problems facing Loveland will be much larger than having to park a block further away from your destination? Will our children be glad for more concrete, or will they see the garage as another problem that needs to be solved and wish instead for a safer, cleaner, more sustainable Loveland? An unbiased environmental study would help Loveland residents make an informed decision on the proposed garage, not just for today, but for tomorrow. And we can only gauge support on the proposed garage by placing it on a ballot for residents to vote. Thank you for your time.